Alright, today we are going to make maple sugar candy. This process only takes an hour, so let's get started. Well, today we are going to be using just some regular dark maple syrup. You can pretty much buy this at Walmart, um, your local store, pretty much anywhere. Well, we are going to be using two cups. This jug is four, so we will be using half of that. Make sure that it is real maple syrup and not the replacement, because if it's the replacement, it won't work. Before we start, you want to make sure you have a wooden spoon, a candy thermometer. I'm using this metal one. You can get these online or at Walmart. I suggest getting them online because the Walmart ones are a little cheap and they break really easily. So, yeah, I got mine on Amazon. And the proper molds. I, I'm using a rubber special one that I bought from a special website that makes maple syrup candies, but you can also get these ones. You can pretty much find these anywhere. They are silicone molds. You can have them any shape, or you can go with the rubber maple candy. This is going to be two cups. Um, you don't want to go over that, otherwise you will probably have too much. As you can see, it's a dark color, and that will get lighter as you cook it. So. That is two cups right here. Before you start, you want to make sure you also have a pot that has high sides because usually before it's the right temperature, it tends to really boil over. I will show you another technique to keep the boiling down. We are going to be using a stick of just plain butter and boiling it around the rims and little down because as soon as the maple syrup hits the oil, it will boil back down and it will not end up overflowing and it will not get burned. So this is a good tip. And if you are dairy free, there is probably some great substitutes online. So we are going to be putting this on medium high heat and then we are going to pour our maple syrup in. put our thermometer in until it reaches 235 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 Celsius. You may want 
to take a knife and like smooth out the edges. You can do this on pretty much any surface. Just, just take it off. It will take about 10, 15, 20 minutes. Do not try to speed this up by putting it in the fridge or freezer. Now that they are done, it is time to take them out of the mold and onto a plate. And if you want to store them, you can place them in an airtight container for up to a month.